What's up, YouTube? It's Rock Combo, and today I'm bringing you all a hardpoint uh, gameplay on Hijacked, and I'm using this vector. Um, and I go 81 and 6, I believe. So it's pretty. It's definitely a really good game. And there, there's a couple things I want to talk about um, in this commentary. First off, I want to talk about where I've been. Um, I've been getting a decent amount of messages last few weeks. Uh, you know where I've been. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, uh, doing a lot of school stuff because I graduate here May 4th. Is Friday at 6 o'clock. I I finally walk and, and I'm at the University of Alabama. Um, I got my degree in business marketing with specialization in real estate. And uh, you know if everything goes as planned, I could pass some of these finance classes that are just a pain in my rear. Um, that's taking a lot of my time. You know I'll be graduating. Everything will be be good to go and hopefully I uh, get a job, make some money. And then also I've been working on uh, on a project for y'all and for uh, YouTube and and Matt and all this stuff. And so uh, you know I'll, I'll be telling y'all what, what that is once I get everything completed and um, and bring it to y'all. Y'all will definitely like it. You know I, I sure hope y'all do. I put a lot of time into it the last few months. And so that's kind of where I've been. And then also you know it's just time in Madden season. And it's kind of coming to a close. And so uh, over the summer. You know, I'll, I'll definitely be playing a lot of subscribers in, in Madden for up until NCAA comes out. Um, this kind of, you know, I, I like to play y'all. I don't really, haven't really enjoyed playing too many ranked matches. It's, it just kind of gets repetitive, and uh, you know, this, it's just kind of over. I'm just ready for the new games to come out, and I will definitely be bringing y'all, you know, daily games come in, uh, you know, in oh, at the end of the summer whenever uh, NCAA and then Madden comes out in August. So definitely be t be stay tuned for that. You know my channel's not going anywhere. I'm still here. I'm still alive. You know everything's going well. Just trying to graduate from college and uh, you know just enjoying enjoying the last month of, of college before I move back to Texas. You know I've been in Tuscaloosa for the last four years and so I'm mean, moving back to Austin, Texas, where I where I grew up. So just trying to enjoy my friends here and in, in the last month. But anyways, let's let's get on to another another topic and and you know it's the week of the Masters and I love golf. I love playing golf. And, you know, I wish I had more time to play it. You know, the only bad thing about golf is it's very time-consuming, and so and so it's definitely hard to uh, to go out there and play 18 holes. You know, it takes four hours to play and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, but, you know, I want to talk about a couple things. So what would be your dream for some in golf, guys? You know, we're keeping to golf. Uh, and then what would be your the worst foursome that you would you would have to match up with? So I'm going to start off with, with mine that I think would be the best foursome. Number one guy I would love to play with more than anybody else, and I think this might be on a lot of y'all's list, is Charles Barkley. Man, you, you know, he has a hitch in the swing. He's the, I think he's the, I think he would be the coolest guy to be friends with and chill with and go play golf with, go hang out with, go to a bar with. I mean, I think he, ha he has so many stories, so many jokes, and just, you know, I think he would be just awesome and hilarious. Look at that, five piece on the, on the kill feed. Um, and then number two would be Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, he's the greatest basketball player ever to live. Sorry, MJ and uh, Kobe, but he is. Uh, I'm not MJ. Uh, LeBron and Kobe. And uh, he's a very competitive guy. I, can see, I would love to play golf with him and have a lots of wagers. You know, uh, <laughs> I can't put up any nearly as much money as he could, you know, but I would love to take his money and beat him in golf because I know how competitive he is, and I'm just as competitive. I think it would be a lot of fun, you know, playing that 18 holes. And then, you know, we would all take Charles Barkley's money, so... Uh, <laughs> So it would definitely be lots of fun. And then my last one, you know, there's just so many different people. You know, I would, I, I, I couldn't even think of just one. But my favorite athlete of all time growing up as a kid, you know, made my favorite no number be number 80, uh, would be um, Jerry Rice, none, none other. Um, I know, you know, 49ers are get so outplayed in, in Madden this year. But I have literally been a, a, a Niners fan my whole life, and Jerry Rice is a huge reason of it. I love his work ethic, and I know he's a good golfer. I think, you know, I would just love to meet the guy and just just talk with him about how how he he he's so successful at, at time management and uh, managing his time, and you know, I think that's that's one thing that he did better that he did, it does better than most pro athletes. Um, you know, when he played was time management, training um, in the off season. So that would definitely be. Uh, be my force, and so Charles Barkley uh, <laughs> is definitely one. Jerry Rice, and then uh, Michael Jordan. Um, so the worst foursome would definitely I have to start out with would be having to play with my girlfriend. Well, number one, she's terrible at golf. Number two, it would take us like ten hours to do the round, you know. And then number three, 
I would, you know, you know, there's a Bev Cart girl there, and so, you know, me and my friends, we always raid on them. Sometimes we like to hit on them a little bit, just for the fun of it. Uh, just, and, you know, we would, you know, she wouldn't like that too much. She wouldn't like some of the way, the way that we talk and communicate. You know, I, I couldn't have as much fun playing with her, you know. Golf is your time to get away from your girlfriends and wives. Don't ever get married and say, all right, we can play some golf together. It'd be a good thing to, for us to do get together. No, you play golf, you become a member at a, at a course to get away from the wife. You know, there's a, lots of other things that you can do. You know, take him shopping that night, that afternoon after you get through with your round or whatnot. You might have a few beers in you, so it might not not be as as uh, as as tough to go shopping with them. So that'd be number one. Number two would be uh, either Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson, you know, the politically correct guys who take offense to everything. I cannot stand them with with all my heart, man. I cannot, you know, I don't like to use the word hate, but I really do not dislike them. They, they it would be miserable to play around the golf with them, you know. If you, what if you stepped on their line, you know, I might get sued, you know. They make, might call me a racist. <laughs> so so th those two uh, would definitely be there. And then number three, last, um, I, I, I don't really, I can't really think of anybody on top of my head. So I would just have to go with Juanito Shocker, Carlos Ferrero, uh, the Madden st stealer of everything. Um, you know, he might he might steal my putter. You know, I might put my leave my putter on, on one of the holes on accident or a pitch, uh, or let's say a, a wedge, because you usually will leave one of your wedges on a hole. He might pick it up and sell it on eBay. You know, claiming it as his. Um, so, so that would be the, the, the foursome that I would not want to play with. Uh, so let me know in the comments below, who are, who are the four people that you would love to play with, and then who, who wouldn't you want to play with, you know? And so I really hope Tiger Woods can take down the Masters, uh, Masters this year, because I really want to see him go after Nicholas Drecker, and it makes golf a lot more entertaining and fun. So also, I really hope you all enjoy this gameplay. Uh, definitely be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, leave some feedback. Let me know how I did on this. You know, I'm, I'm doing commentaries over your Black Ops Call of Duty is a lot harder if you're not talking about the gameplay because Madden you can talk about the gameplay. You know, you can have a couple side topics, but then for the most part, you can just talk about the gameplay and uh, what you're thinking, what you're doing, why you're doing different situations to help to make y'all better. Call of Duty is a little different, so the commentaries are definitely a little bit harder. But I definitely had a good score here, 81-6. I really wanted to get a hundred, a hundred, hundred uh, kill game, but I was not able to do that. Time ran out. So hope you all enjoy this once again. I will see y'all on the sticks and roll tide. I will be I will be posting some Madden gameplays and be playing some more games with y'all here in the future after I graduate. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'll see y'all on the sticks. Peace. I don't want it to blow.